you just never know what's going to happen in a strawberry year, and the more avenues you have to use your strawberries, and it's a, you know, it's a one-time thing, especially June-bearing strawberries. You've got three, four weeks to pick them all, and if you're not going to sell them fresh, in that amount of time, having a value-added product where you're selling frozen pints or making jam or jelly or, or um, you know, a million different things you can do with them, uh, it's nice to have that option so you don't have that crunch to try and sell them all fresh at once. We're getting uh, money for strawberries that weren't getting picked by the consumer because the consumer is getting very, very picky. That sometimes they just want to pick just the big, perfect ones, and they leave smaller ones and, and uh, uh, less beautiful ones behind. Our crew can go in and get those, and we process those, and it cleans up the field. So we don't have strawberries that are getting overripe, possibly uh, succumbing to disease and, uh, and spreading disease throughout the rest of the patch. For us, it's been a, it's been a big deal.